So let's have a look at the different types of dependencies which are present in Maven. Now first, first we'll have a look at the transitive dependencies. I think we have discussed this topic many times, but let's have a closer look at what it is. So transitive dependencies in Maven is nothing but uh, when you define a main dependency in your pom.xml file, there are many other dependencies which need to be downloaded in order for it to work. Right, so Maven downloads all these transitive dependencies automatically. So for example, uh, I have mentioned a Selenium dependency and on the right hand side, you can see all the different kinds of transitive dependencies, uh, which are dependencies which are dependent on this Selenium dependency. So Maven downloads all these dependencies and you can see it in your dependency tree, right? So let's have a look. So this is our uh, Selenium dependency, which I mentioned in our pom.xml file. And if we go to the Maven tool and uh, within the idea, uh, within the IntelliJ idea, and if we go to the dependencies section, uh, we'll see all the dependencies listed here. And if we expand one of the dependency uh, like Selenium, we can see all the transitive dependencies which are already downloaded and kept in our local repository, right? So uh, this is the magic of Maven and the main advantage why most of the development uh, teams are using Maven because we don't need to individually manage all our dependencies, but Maven will take care of most of them. We just need to define uh, what dependencies we want to use and rest of it, Maven will take care, right? So, with that, uh, let's now look at uh, some other kinds of dependencies like snapshot dependency. So while we were uh, having, I mean, while we were working on this project, the initially we uh, named a version as 1.0 snapshot. Now snapshot is nothing but it uh, identifies a project or dependency which is still under development. Right, so it is not yet released. It's a snapshot version of that particular dependency. So the release available uh, for you to download is a snapshot version. Now, the advantage of this is Maven will automatically identify that there are other versions of this uh, release. So it will automatically download the latest version of a snapshot version. Um, it is not the same case when you do uh, when you release with just a number like 1.0 so maven will never download the latest version of 1.0 you have if you are making any changes in deploying you need to remain uh, you need to uh, release a new version like 1.1 or 1.2 so but if uh, you do it a snapshot uh, maven will automatically take care of it now other important point here is snapshot won't work if you don't uh, put it in caps if you do it in a small letters it will not identify this version as a snapshot version right now the next kind of dependency is um, exclude dependency now what happens is if you have defined a dependency and uh, it may happen that one of the transitive dependencies may collide with uh, some other dependencies and it may not work. It may fail to uh, maybe work with both the dependencies which are in place and which may be a transitive dependency of some other dependency. So this kind of uh, uh, problem can be resolved by mentioning a exclusion uh, parameter within your dependency. Right, so you can keep it under exclusions and then you can mention your exclusion for that particular dependency. Or you can also mention a version, a particular version which can be excluded while you are compiling your project. So Maven will exclude this particular dependency or uh, the transitive dependency which uh, with a specific version as well so that there are no problems created uh, during while you are building a project. 
So this is how you can exclude some dependencies, some particular versions which are not working with a particular dependency, right? Now, the final one is uh, the external dependency. Well, it's not highly recommended to use this kind of dependency, but uh, it, is, it is deemed a little risky, riskier option because uh, what happens in case of an external, dep external dependency is you need to, um, so for example, uh, external dependencies are those dependencies which are not present in either local or remote repository. So it's a kind of uh, it's a kind of a, a jar file which you you want to refer in a project. It's an external jar, which is not present anywhere either in the any of the remote repository or in a local repository. So you need to keep it in your um, project file, right? You need to keep it here and then uh, here in the dependency section. You need to uh, give that path of your project where that jar is present. So that will uh, take it as an external uh, dependency. It will refer to that path and it will uh, download that dependency as in, into your project. So that's, that's how you can use it. But I would highly recommend to not use external dependency until it's the last option, right? So that's the different kinds of dependencies which are present in Maven. And in the next section, we will see uh, what are the different scopes uh, present for Maven dependency.